We are the digital illusionists. We do magic with digital technology. iPads, drones, virtual reality. There's a double act. It just works that Keelan's very techy. While Matt is a wonderful mind reader, I also really get a kick out of making people laugh. While I sort out some of the tech issues. Arthur C. Clarke says great technology is indistinguishable from magic, and we bring that into our show as well. We specifically created this trick for Penn and Teller, and we're really excited. Yeah, and we hope to fool two of the greatest minds in magic. <laughs> the digital illusionist. Ladies and gentlemen, Penn and Teller. Now, it has been said that we have two lives these days. We have our physical life in the real world, and we have our digital lives on social media, the lives we want everyone to perceive us as having, which, unfortunately, is often an exaggerated version of the truth. He's right. I'll be the first to admit to taking a selfie in a first-class seat on an aeroplane and then going back to my real seat on the other side of the curtains. <laughs> So with that in mind, we created a video prediction of a made-up social media vacation, and we uploaded it to Instagram over two months ago. That's right, it's our prediction that is date-stamped back in time, and it is one that cannot be changed. Now, we have a list on this tablet of every single country on the planet represented by their national flag. And over here, we have six random objects commonly associated with going away on a trip. Now, of course, we need some people to help us uh, make some very important decisions. So we thought we'd ask for the help of a third world-famous double act. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for Mr. Terry Fader and Winston the Impersonating Turtle. <laughs> Winston, welcome. Oh, thank you so much. I don't get out much. Not yet. Well, he's out now. Yes, I am. This is great. What do I need to do? Now, would you help us with a magic trick? Of course. Perfect. Now, we need you to choose a random country. Now, if I was to ask you to name a country, the chances are you may be drawn to certain types of countries. For example, the United States, your home country. Or because of our charming British accents, you might be more inclined to go to the United Kingdom. But we need this to be completely random. So what I need you to do, Terry, is just to scroll up or down on the iPad. OK, can I use my hand? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I bet you guys don't know how Terry's doing this. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. There are no wires involved at all. OK, OK, OK. Well, here we go. Uh, so, I, so, OK, you're going to stare. No, don't look. Don't look. So, OK. OK, so now... I want you both to keep staring at Penn and Teller. Keep staring at Penn and Teller. And keep staring at Penn and Teller. And while you're staring at Penn and Teller, I'd like you to make a selection. Perfect, you've got one. Could you name the country we're going away on vacation? Japan. We are going away to Japan. Good choice. OK, Terry, we also need you to make a random choice of one of these six items, OK? Now, there's nothing more random or fair than the roll of a die. Okay. So if you would just pop that into the glass. Here we go. You know what it is? Um, it's a six. Try to figure out how I did that. All right, stop it. <laughs> OK, perfect. So you've rolled the number six, and if we look at our list from top to bottom, you'll see that we've got the soccer ball. So Japan and a soccer ball. Now, we didn't mention we made our prediction, which is over there. That's right. Now, our prediction is in this box. Keelan's cell phone. Now, it's important to remember that Terry and Winston had a completely random choice of country and a completely random choice of object. Just going to go to Instagram. Please bear in mind that this video was uploaded a few months ago. It's date stamped back in time, and it cannot be changed. Take a look at this. Everybody, we're getting ready for our Penn and Teller Fool Us vacation. That's right, and we're going to Japan. I've got my T-shirt ready, Keelan's got his soccer ball ready, and all we need now is a little bit of magic. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to Japan with our soccer ball. And just to be clear, you can all go on your phones here in the studio and at home and go to Instagram and you will find that video posted over two months ago. All you need to do is search for at our prediction. My name is Matt Daniel Baker and I am Keelan Laser and we are the Digital Illusionists. Thank you. very impressive. Thank you very much. Do Does you. it get intimidating working with all this technology? Very much so. We need a lot of charges. I, I guess so. <laughs> and then when they come up with new versions of technology, yeah. do you have to switch out all of we your do. Tricks? It's a complete nightmare for every update that these devices have. It's a, it's a complete nightmare for us. Oh boy. <laughs> so tell me about this trick. So this trick was born basically from us living in airports. We, we've performed in over 60 countries in the last sort of five or six years. And we were looking at our Facebook and our Instagram page and we realised that pretty much every post was us sitting at an airport. Magicians love telling everyone where they're going, where they're performing on social media, uh, and in particular us, and we do the whole selfie thing everywhere we go. So we kind of thought, well, that's... Let's try and tie that in. Let's try and make it current and relevant to our lives, really. All right, guys. Well, let's see Sorry. if you're tech baffled Penn and Teller. All right. OK. All right. Penn and Teller. Well, Keelan, Matt, you got two guys of very different heights dressed alike. <laughs> so automatically, we're on your side. Thank you. Yeah. We like that already. We also love the really nice use of digital technology, a really nice use of Instagram, really nice to point out how people lie about that and the first class joke and the whole shebang. And we saw the list of six things that you could take with you on vacation. One of the things that's not up there that you might have is uh, some people like to go out dining, maybe have some uh, seafood, like, you know, maybe have some nice swordfish, although that's, uh, that's getting a little bit in danger. That's not really sustainable. So maybe, hair, maybe red herring you might want to have in there as well. We think there was a free choice of the roll of the dice and a free choice of the country. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah, there was a free choice. And that means we come down to one of the principles that nobody will ever believe us on. We will say outright how you did this, and no one will believe us anyway. There is no limit to the amount of work magicians will do to make a trick work. And we believe you did that and also exploited a little bit of the way uh, social technology works and did a um, wonderful trick, but we do not think you fooled us. What can I say? These guys are absolute geniuses. Ah, uh, so you didn't fool them. Well, uh, all I can say is it's a pleasure to be caught by you. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh,